Hi everyone, Melissa here from O Creations, coming to you today with a little AliExpress creative inspiration. So I don't think I showed you that I purchased this die from AliExpress. Turns out I love this die. At first I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I know a lot of people were going to use it as a gift tag holder, which is what I used it as. Um, and I, um, I kind of created it a little differently. And um, I'm going to show you what I did with the small one. I haven't really created anything with this one yet, but um, I thought about it. So I can kind of give you my idea on that one. But let's get started. This is the main focus. However, I did use these three dies. And these are all from uh, Memory Box. So those three dies are from Memory Box. Uh, I'm also using some of these border dies in here. I think uh, some of them are from Paper Smooches and Avriel. As well as this die, which is from Cottage Cuts. And we'll be using this paper. All right, I'm going to start with the smaller one. Oh, and I, I also have a tutorial for you. So if you want to uh, stick around a little bit at the end, we're going to try and get through it through it real quick. Um, but anyways, let's show you this one. This is the first thing I created to do with this small one. And that's just a little tag to, to put on an item, you know, give away a coffee, gift card, or what have you. So that's what I did with that. I also backed it up with a little bit of piece of paper on there. And then um, here goes the gift card. So here goes one of them that I made. And then what I did, um, I just added a cover on top. And then you can just slide the gift card right down in there. And there goes the coffee die that I showed you that's from Cottage Cuts. Added some coffee bean, which actually you can buy this die on AliExpress as well. Okay, it's this one. And I'll have that link down below for you as well um, with the uh, with this die. I'll have the links to that one too. But there goes that one. I also made this one. Thought it turned out so cute and so adorable. Love it. And then I also made this one. Oops, sorry about the glare. All right, and so I am going to kind of show you how I did those. Oh, and I didn't show you on the back side. I did cover up all of those on the back. You can even add an extra um, uh, little inside lining for something to write on, or this could be your writing part. So I'll give you all of those measurements <clears throat> as well. All right, let's get these things out of the way and let's get to the tutorial. First of all, you're gonna cut out this one. And then um, we're gonna, you can either cut this out twice and then you're just gonna use half of it or just take a small piece of paper and just use half of it um, to cut that out. All right. <clears throat> and so I've already got mine cut. And then I use the border die to cut my other half to cut right across the top just to have a border and what we're going to do very simple you're just going to line that up and glue it together but before you put this outer piece on we're going to put the inner piece here in the inside this is what I'm going to use this time and um, I didn't glue any of these down I just popped it right on in there without gluing it down like that and if you can just hold on I will get you those measurements okay here goes the measurements uh, 2.7 16ths by 3 and 11 16ths that's for this one or you can say 2.5 by 3.75 I just found this to fit better in there and then for the back side while I have this up it's 2 uh, and 7 eighths by 4.25 and that's going to be for the back, just to cover that up. All right. And so, since we have that on there, we're going to go ahead and lay this down. 
and um, just remember not to glue the whole thing. You are just going to glue right around the outside or use whatever adhesive you would like to use. I am going to use this. And we're just going to add just a little thin layer of glue around. You can probably get the like one eighth um, of the um, tape, the tear tape, and just put it around the outside if you want to go that way. But then that's it. You just glue that down just like that. So simple and it's the cutest little thing. Now you'll have to get a little clever in covering up what you want to cover up these edges with here. This is what I made. Another one of these. This little uh, candy cane came out of that cottage cuts die and we're just going to pop that right there so it will cover up that part. And then for the other one I have the I got, got these little things from Tuesday morning and like this one here and I think I'm just going to get I tore the top of that off I think we're going to just use the top of that to cover this part and so we just glue, glue this down and be careful of how you're gluing your piece that you're going to cover if it comes up too high just be careful of how you're going to glue it because you can't glue it on the part where you're going to put down your um your card there so make sure it's down far enough so that you don't glue that and then I think I'm going to also put a little glue so that'll be covering on that other side there I'm going to do that real quickly and just add a little bit of glue on the side just so that it glues down just like that not covering this right here and then we'll just take a piece of this here. Like I said, I'm just going to pop that right down there. Not sure if I'm going to leave it there. i got to really see how it looks. And I think maybe if I add one of those little birds, because I did use the little birds. Let me get that if I can. I don't know what I did with my little um, tweezer, but... I think I'm going to put the bird somewhere on there. So give me just one second. I'm going to add that bird on there. And we are going to call it a day. Oops, nope, no we're not. Put that little bird right here. Right on that little branch there. To cover that up. And then we just got to add on the back. I mean, just so quick and easy simple card to make and I could have probably used my HEG gun on this but I do like the way um, the glue feel it make almost turns it into chipboard when you use glue so it just adds an extra layer of thickness so I'm just gonna pop that right there even trying to get it as even around the outside as possible and all you'll need to do is add some ribbon for your liking. And then um, just add your gift card in there. Bam. It's all done. I thought this was just turned out super cute. I'm going to add some, probably another red ribbon up top. But I really, really like how that turned out. I hope you do too. Tell me what you think. Just leave a comment down below. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. You all have a wonderful, blessed, and crafty day.